Hello everyone, I am here today to show you how to test your computer speed, be it a laptop, a super high-end desktop, or the cheapest computer you could possibly think of. So, I'm just going to jump right in here, not give you too much stuff. Don't really remember what the program is, but, like the name, but, I have a link in the description, you can go click on that. And today I'm going to show you some of the stuff that you can do with it. So let me just zoom right in here and open it up the program. Okay, so I'm going to open up this program. And it is a free trial version at the moment, but I think I can get around that. The reason I'm using this camera to record and not the screen recorder is because I don't want this to inhibit my, like, wow, um, the <sighs> the performance test it'll inhibit the performance test if I'm recording with my system so here have your neat motherboard not actually what it looks like but nope like you can see the specs on your hard drive or your RAM or your graphics card but that's not what we're doing today we're gonna to be running a benchmark so let's get started now what this program how this program differs from other programs is that it it tests your computer's CPU, GPU, and all of the other stuff for different implications. Instead of just seeing uh, how many f calculations per second your processor can do, like it actually does the stuff and then sees how well it does it. So like you see right now it's running physics for the CPU, now sorting, and it'll do this for everything. Like all of the different... Um, general stuff. And you'll see some fun windows pop up whenever it's testing all of the graphics, like you'll see some vectors and some, like I think that are, there's the vectors testing. And it may look like everything's going pretty quickly, but this isn't actually the very best computer. Now it's testing how it works with fonts and text, 2D graphics. I guess I can zoom in on this window. Okay, now it's testing Windows interface. See how well it can handle with that. Now some image filters and adjustments with the 2D graphics. Now image rendering, which can be handy if you're putting out a big batch of images. Now it's doing um, direct 2D, and you can see in the upper right hand corner the frame rate. I'll zoom into the frame rate here so you can see it, and focus, so Intel HD Graphics 3021, 23 FPS, and it's doing this, and just flying around, and now after it does this it's going to go full screen, and have some more planes and you can see it's quite a bit more laggy and now if I zoom in here it's at nope digital zoom 16 FPS and that might not seem all that bad but a good system really should be able to run this at at least 60 and now it's loading up some DirectX 10 and it's gonna go full screen and gonna lag out your computer quite a bit unless you have a good system now, if I zoom into this upper corner, you can see this stuff, it's penalizing for and how many FPS. Just pause it. I'm getting 4.2 FPS. And this is basic, that was basically the equivalent of like some sort of ever so, some sort of slightly modern video game. So unless you're playing night video games from the early 2000s, that's the one you need to look out for. Now it's testing out some of the RAM. And once this is all over, we'll be able to look at some neat graphs, bars, and all that fun analytical data stuff. So, once this is over, we'll look through that and see how my computer does. 
And you can check, you can try all this on your computer. Does I don't think it matters what operating system or Windows version you have. I think it even works for 95. And a good thing I like about this is you can compare it to other processors, graphics cards, and RAM brands. So if you're thinking of getting a computer, which I am, you can see how the components in that computer would do compared to the current system you have. So you can see if it's actually worth it to get the new system. Now after it runs all of the hard disk checking stuff, we should be able to see how my computer does. So yeah. You sort of need to be watching this in high resolution because, I mean, you can't really tell what all the bars are saying because I'm not using a screen recorder because I'm lazy like that, but it should be pretty okay. I'm tired, but yeah, we'll be able to do this. It's my computer that's going to be tired by the end of this. Almost done, just have to do a few more random seeking. Okay, so here's your computer's rating. Now this is basically compiling everything that your computer did, and the fact that the screen is ever so slightly tilted on the camera is probably driving you all insane. Just fix that right there. But I mean, you can compare it to other systems. This got a 911, my ultra cheap complete crap laptop with like Celeron 900 and like it was a compact it's a freaking brick it got 208 but 911 it, it's not all that bad but for gaming it's pretty mediocre so I'm just gonna X out on that and let's see what the data is I'm gonna be selecting this I'm gonna be reading it off to you and now there is summary but I'm gonna go to here so this is CPU mark, this is about what your CPU did. Here it is. Oh, that's average results at the top. I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom here. So bottom is single threaded millions of operations per second. And the green bar is your computer. You can see my computer actually did pretty well. And the one I'm looking at, which is this one with my mouse pointer over it, it's actually really really good like the only thing that's above it is the i7 3930k which is like complete craziness and i'm probably not gonna be getting that but i mean that's a like this one here the second highest bar that's a laptop that's the one i'm planning on getting so that seems like a pretty good option here's um what is it threaded threaded strings per second i don't know i'm standing really far away but, um, not that good. Frames per second with physics, also not that good. Megabytes transferred per second in encryption, also not that good. And kilobytes per second, wait, kilobytes processed per second, also not that good. And uh, I can't read this stuff from here. I don't know. You'll hopefully be able to read it. And as you can also see, also not that good. Not that good. Floating point math, not that good. Basically, not that good. But it's better than the other one because the other one was about half that good. 2D graphics, this is what would be good for image editing and just using Windows in general. And you can see that even though I only have HD graphics 3000 Intel integrated stuff, my overall was pretty good. I mean, obviously it's not as high as some of these other ones, but I mean, it's more than enough. The only thing it really didn't do very good in, it, weird, even the super high ones didn't do very good in the Windows interface, except for the GT630, which is actually a similar model to the one that I'm going to be getting. So, yeah, that seems good. Now, 3D graphics is what you're going to want to look at for gaming. And you can see how you need a pretty crazy graphics card to get anything really substantially more than this. Because the one I'm looking at, it's a few models newer than this one at the top. But the, uh, my guess is it would be about here for the model laptop I'm looking at. But I mean, 
This is just sad. I mean... And it couldn't even do the stuff at the bottom. Like, here's DirectX 10 3D graphics. I got, like, that. Like, that's basically terrible. But, I mean, this is a really, really helpful program because you can see where your computer excels and where it doesn't. And it gives you a nice graph and interface that you can look at it all on. Because you can go by, like, oh, your computer has this many gigahertz or this much megahertz RAM, but it's really good to test it for yourself. And this is a really nice, really user-friendly program to do that with. And here in the RAM, you can see, like, I think this is just, like, data transfer stuff. I don't know. I can't see it from here. I don't plan on it, but it's okay. But, yeah, this is about it. Disk, disk mark, transfer rate. These are probably SSDs, because they're crazy fast. But, yeah, that's this program. Really, really should learn the name of it. I'm actually going to walk up to my computer. It's like Performance Test 8.0. Evalu it's evaluation version because it's sort of a trial, but I'd recommend buying it because it's actually really, really quite handy. Like, you can compare your system, see which one's actually the best. But yeah, no use of me explaining on. This has already been like 11 minutes and 36 seconds. So, this was Laser Lord 10 showing you how to test your computer's speed. Post in the comments actually if you use this what your computer got because I'd be really interested to know because like, I want to know what's good and what's bad because 911 sounds okay but I mean I want to know what the crazy stuff is because like I'm not going to be buying any crazy computers but yeah so post in the comments what your computer's speed was like the overall speed like the black text with the yellow background that you saw mine was 911 point something just don't don't put the point something because that's probably not even very important. So you have been watching me, Laser Lord. Well, you've been watching my computer, owned by Laser Lord Ten, showing you how to test your computer's performance. So I will see you later.